Hey, you're watching Realistic Fishing with Butterbean. That's me. Keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I thought today I would try and relax a little bit, do a little pan fishing down here at the drain. Today I'm looking for big bluegill. Maybe we can get lucky and get a crappie, maybe even a small bass. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's try right here. Got a gulp minnow on there, fishing it underneath a float. All right, let's try for a minute without the bobber. I might not be able to cast as far, but it's gonna be a more natural presentation. Oh, oh, maybe a bite, maybe the bottom. Kind of hard to tell when you're fishing. There we go, fish on. First fish of the day. All right, all right, five inch bluegill. It's a start, it's a start. I could also try it with the float minus the weight for a really slow sink or slow drift. Come on. We're gonna put the float back on. Float re-engaged. We're doing some experimenting to see what the fish want. This is Miami Barbara. You're watching Realistic Fishing, and keep it realistic. How's the fishing today, Alex? Maybe this side. Fish, second fish of the day. Looked like a bluegill. Pulled him right out of the water when I set the hook. There he is. Five inch bluegill, second one today. Well, at least I'm getting a little more action over here in this corner. Hopefully we can find something bigger than five inches. Fish on. Another small bluegill. I'm seeing a pattern here. Hey, this one has some better colors on it, but it's about the same size. Fish on, fish off, another five inch bluegill. All right, well, I think I've figured out the pattern over here. Five inch bluegill. I guess we'll make a few more casts over there, but I don't know if I wanna keep fishing this or if I wanna to switch to something else. My name is Dewey Cash, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.
fish. This one's a little bit better. This one's actually pulling. This one's actually pulling. What is it? Bluegill. Nice big bluegill. Oh, that's a bullgill. Yes. This fish just made my day. Wow, let me set my rod down. Here we go, guys. Wow, check out this bluegill. He does not want to cooperate. I just want to look at him. That is a total bullgill. Wow, look at this thing. Probably nine, maybe 10 inches. No, nine inches. He wants to jump, so I'm keeping my hand close enormous bluegill. Let's let him go. Sweet. Yeah, baby, that's what I was hoping for. That was a good sized bluegill right there. I was getting a little discouraged with all those five inchers, but damn, damn, that was a good one. Sometimes you just got to stick it out, right? There we go, another fish. Came off. Felt really small. Here we go. Not as much fight as that. Oh, I take that back. This is another big one. Another big one. Wow. Wow. Monster. Monster bluegill here. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this beefcake. Look how tall. Another bullgill. We're fishing over here by the drain in the middle of May with gulp minnows and I'm catching some big bluegill. I'm Sloan from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Hopefully we can find another one of those big bluegill. You know, I fished the same area earlier, but standing right there by the drain, I didn't get anything like that. But fishing it from this angle, two big bluegill, jumbos. Those two giant bluegill just made the whole trip worth it. Ooh, there was a bite. Ooh, nibble. Dang it, missed them. Small one. Fish on, another small one. This one is not fighting anywhere near as much as those other two. Yeah, that's actually a four incher. Huh. And that's it for today. Those two big bluegill made the whole trip worth it. I started out getting some small ones, five inches, four inches, but damn, nine and ten inch bluegill, I'll take that any day. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.